Hello all, welcome to ACAD Guild's Full Stack Web Development Program. In this video, you will look into setting up Node.js, verifying Node.js setup, installing Express Generator tool, creating a basic web server application using Express Generator, running the server application. We will now install Node.js and Express. We will then create a basic web server using Node.js and Express. For installing Node.js, download the setup file from the Node.js website. Download the setup file corresponding to your operating system. Run the setup file to install Node.js. We can find the list of all the downloads here. Depending on your operating system, you can download the setup file. For detailed setup instructions, you can visit this link. This link has been provided in the slide. After setting up Node.js, you can verify the setup by using these commands in the terminal. So let me go to a command prompt. I can execute node-b to know the version of node that has been installed and also run npm space hyphen v to find the version of npm. Next, we will install a tool called express generator. Express generator is an application generator tool. It is used to quickly create an express application skeleton. For information on express generator, visit the link which is provided here. So the information about express generator can be found in expressjs.com. To install express generator in the terminal window, we can issue this command. Since it is a Node.js package, we can use npm install hyphen g. Hyphen g is for global installation. And the name of the package, which is express hyphen generator. Once this is successfully installed, we can verify the setup by using this command express hyphen hyphen version. So we can see that I have express generator version 4.16.0. After installing the express generator, we can now create a basic web server using express generator. The command that can be used is express. Let us create a new application called as contact mgr -sir. When we issue this command, it creates a new directory with the same name. We can see that it has created a new directory. This directory contains our express application. You can go into this directory and run npm install. npm install will install all the dependencies required for our application. The dependencies are listed in the package JSON file by the express generator tool when the app is created. After npm install is run successfully, you can use npm start. npm start is going to launch the application by default, this application is available on port 3000 of your machine, which means we can open a new browser window and access the application using localhost colon 3000. We can see that our new Express application is running successfully. Thank you for watching this tutorial. 
In the next video, you will look into Node.js API development. A cat killed. Average is dead.